Welcome to my Next Level Barbecue. Welcome to my class. I absolutely love supporting people that are motivated to naturally improving their lives with essential oils. Please use this opportunity to get comfortable with essential oils as my hope and desire is if you haven't started yet, today will be the day you begin in your journey with essential oils. And I'm here to guide you in your journey. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself. Just a little bit. My name is Jody Adams. I'm a licensed massage therapist. In the picture, this is my brother, Jason Adams. Years ago, he had a severe brain trauma. At that time in my life, we were doing everything possible to help give him a better quality of life. So I was in college and I was helping my mom, anything that I could do to help her take care of him. So she would try anything possible to help better give him a better quality of life. And she hired a massage therapist and we saw how much the massage therapist made a difference in his life. It made more of a difference than anything else that we were doing. So at that time I went to massage school and thereafter anything that I came into contact with, any type of modality, any type of technique that I could study and learn to better, to give him a better quality of life, I did so. So through, throughout my career, I've been exposed to different type of essential oils and I was never sold on essential oils. I, I studied essential oils, but the quality and purity and efficacy just wasn't there until I came in contact with doTERRA. And I had promised my mom that if I found a company that was pure, potent, and the efficacy was there, that I would learn more about that company and more about the essential oils and teach her so she could also use them on my brother. Just to give you a little insight. And when I was exposed to doTERRA, I found that quality, that purity and potency. So that is my why on just a little bit. And later on, not in this webinar, but I'll get more detail of why and more about my story, but I just wanted to give you a little background of why I chose to do doTERRA essential oils. Simply my brother. So what type of expectations do we have? What are we going to go over? I absolutely love to cook. So grilling is summertime. So I want to just go over, I'm going to do, be doing a couple different webinars to give you some different recipes on how you can actually use essential oils. So we're going to be going over some different products and different DIYs and different recipes. So that's what we're going to be going over. So why doTERRA? Simply is we search all, is our co-impacting sources. We search all around the world to find the right soil, the right altitude, um, so that we have that purity that's there, the efficacy is there, and the potency is there. It's simply, you know, not all oils are created equally. So I just want you to realize that when you're searching for essential oils, that they're not all created equally. Do your research, make sure that the purity and potency and efficacy is there and that they third party test and that there's no pesticides, fillers of any sorts getting in on those oils and make sure that it's 100% pure. So three ways to use essential oils. I'm just going to briefly go over this for those of you that aren't familiar. Topically. Topically is one of the easiest ways to use essential oils. When you apply your oil to the area of your body that is needed to, for support, don't overthink it. If some area hurts, apply it there. They, and just keep in mind, they reach the bloodstream within 20 seconds and then they distribute throughout the whole entire body within, within 20 minutes. How amazing is that? I like to use fractionated coconut oil to avoid any type of skin sensitivity and always dilute with children. 
The bottom of the feet is also a great place where the bottom of your feet and your hands are have the thickest skin. So if you are going to have a skin sensitivity, then those are areas that you can start off with to see if you're going to have any type of skin sensitivity. So the neck is also a great area to um, apply the oils as you know a lot of us are very stressed and we are always going a hundred miles an hour and we have so much on our plate and along the spine is also another great area that I love to apply the essential oils aromatically put a drop, a drop of essential oil in the palm of your hand cup your hands to your nose and inhale really get a deep breath really get that expansion into the rib cage out wide front and back, really get that deep into the lungs. And then just smell and inhale, wow, it's an amazing aroma. Diffusing is also a great way to get the benefits of the oils. They can go into support the respiratory function, enhance moods, great for athletes as well. To apply, you can apply the breathe right on your chest before you go out for a run or a walk or hiking. Third, internal use. Now, when I talk about internal use, I'm strictly only talking about doTERRA. doTERRA is the only brand that I trust for internal use. So please don't assume it is okay to use any brand of essential oils internally as purity varies greatly from company to company. Once you have determined that the essential oil is safe, for consumption, the bottle will clearly be labeled if it is approved for internal use. Once you are assured that the quality, the purity, and the efficacy is there, you can easily add a drop to your water or tea. I like doing this so it helps me, and I love doing using citruses for this, it helps me drink my daily recommendations of water. So, Let's dig into some recipes. Let's get outside, let's have people over, Let, let's just have fun sharing these essential oils with our friends and family and just getting the wonderful benefits in our own bodies. So Canadian lavender lemonade is a great one to start off with. It's always good to have a great beverage when you're going to have that next level barbecue. So simply take a cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one half cup of maple syrup, four cups of water, two drops of lavender essential oil, two drops of lemon essential oil. Remember these oils are very potent, so it only takes a very little. Add all the ingredients to a glass pitcher, stir and taste to adjust. Some people like it a little bit more tart, so just adjust, add ice cubes, and serve with a fresh, some fresh lavender and a slice of lemon for garnish. Trust me when I say your guests are going to adore this refreshing beverage. So if you don't like it as tart, you can just simply add a little bit more sugar. So on to a main ingredient. So let's get some meat on board. All spice marinade. Just take your, your meat of choice, and we're gonna go over this amazing all spice marinade. So, the ingredients in this recipe this will be an unforgettable experience at your barbecue. Take a half a cup of beef broth, I like to use stock, a third cup of apple cider vinegar, two cloves of garlic crushed a small onion diced, one drop of clove essential oil, one drop of marjoram essential oil, one drop of thyme essential oil, one drop of wild orange essential oil, two tablespoons of olive oil, and salt and pepper to taste. Now I like to, I always like to use glass. So I mix this up in a glass bowl and put whatever my choice of meat would be. Now you can also use um, chicken broth or stock. It's not as strong as the beef broth. So if you wanted to do a chicken marinade, this would be great as well in any sort of chicken. So add the meat or the chicken to the marinade and 
at least six hours or overnight in the refrigerator. You can use this on, like, like we were talking about earlier, you can use it on beef, poultry, and it's also great for tofu. So a nice little tip, make sure to let your meat really marinate. For the longer you keep your meat in there, the better the barbecue will become. Are we excited yet? So I always like to have some greens on board. So a summer salad with avocados and blue cheese. I also, I'm not the biggest fan on blue cheese, so I also love to use feta. Feta is one of my favorites. So ingredients, one small bunch of watercress, a six ounce bag of baby spinach leaves, one avocado seeded and diced, one small red onion thinly sliced, 15 ounce can of grapefruit segments, juiced, reserved, four ounces of blue cheese crumbles, or for me, I love the feta cheese. So, and then we're going to look at a homemade vinaigrette dressing because we're trying to be healthy. Three tablespoons of grapefruit juice from the can that you reserved from earlier. Three tablespoons of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. One half cup of olive oil. Two teaspoons of, I like to use fresh local honey to boost during seasonal threads. <laughs> One or two drops of grapefruit essential oil to taste a pinch of salt and pepper each in a large bowl, toss together the watercress and baby spinach. Add the diced avocado, sliced red onions and grapefruit. Toss in, for me, you can do the blue cheese, but I like to do the feta cheese. And then in a glass reusable container, add the grapefruit juice, olive oil, honey, and one or two drops of the grapefruit essential oil to taste. Add a pinch of salt and pepper, shake vigorously. Pour the vinaigrette over the salad and toss lightly. Are we getting excited to try this? So now what? I don't wanna overwhelm you with too many recipes, so we're just gonna go over a couple. So, are you excited to try some of the essential oils for those of you that's never done essential oils? So what now? How do you know what to use? How do you get started? I would like to take this opportunity to let you know you're never alone on your journey with essential oils. I'll personally be here to guide you in every step of the way with answers to any question, resources, and introduce you to other people who are on the journey as well. I consider my doTERRA a family. I call it my doTERRA family, the oilers. In addition, I have also has special email series that I can send you about how to use essential oils and the foundation and knowledge and awareness for incorporating essential oils into your lives. There are a number of different ways you can get started. So get involved. How can I become a wellness advocate? I remember the first time I was exposed to a class like this. I was so excited, but I was overwhelmed because there were so many different oils. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to apply them. However, I will assure you that I would have supported you. I will help support you and absolutely cherish your adventure. My life has changed because of doTERRA essential oils, and I am confident you will have the same experience once you get started. We, and we will all have our own stories that we can share with others how the essential oils have changed our lives. So there are three ways that you can purchase doTERRA essential oils. You can purchase them at full price. I'll be putting my um, doTERRA link so you can go directly on my doTERRA link and purchase it at full price. Not the best way to do it and I don't, I'm not recommending that. I think the best way is to pay a $35 membership fee 
and you can purchase any of the oils at wholesale price, 25% off retail. Totally awesome. But the best way to purchase essential oils is to purchase an enrollment kit. With this kit, we waive the $35. And then you can buy any of the essential oils. There's no obligations whatsoever. You can buy any of the essential oils either at one time increments or you can even do a monthly. But like I said, there's no obligations and I can help you in this journey. So, and if you do decide to do a monthly and you do a 125 order, you, depending on the kits that you choose, you will start off at 10% and after a year, you will be getting an additional 30% off. So once you hit that year, that's 55% off retail. How incredible is that? So if you do decide to do a monthly order and you pay place at least a 125 PV order and I will help you with that so don't get overwhelmed and you do it either on the 15th or before the 15th then you will get the free product of the month. doTERRA gives a free product and I love free stuff so I love doing the monthly order and I absolutely love sharing the essential oils. So again you're not obligated to do that's one thing I love about doTERRA you're not obligated to do that monthly order or any obligations whatsoever. So at this time I would, you know, urge you to contact me or if someone told you about this video or the the webinar or any of my other videos, I would encourage you to contact them and they can help you on your journey and if y'all have any questions, I'm here to assist you as well. We're a great big doTERRA family and I'll be and if you don't have anyone, I'll be putting my link so you can email me at jody at clinicalmassageoffice.com or on my doTERRA link that I'm going to be providing for you as well. So I hope you have a wonderful evening and I hope you try some of these amazing recipes and I hope today is the day that you start your doTERRA journey with essential oils. You have a great day.